Hello everybody, thank you so much to hang out here with me. This is Just Be Blessed. And let me tell you, we're going live in YouTube. That's right. Uh, sometimes, I mean, a lot of times I go, uh, uh, I have a live show on Facebook. But let me tell you, when I have a special testimony, a special program, and I really, uh, I go in YouTube live. So thank you so much to hang out here with us. And, and let me tell you, if if you like this kind of platform, sharing testimonies, I've left messages, uh, please give me a, 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 a like, <laughs> you know, this video and share this, this, this testimony, because let me tell you, we're going to be learning a lot. You know, I don't know that much about the, the topic, uh, about sister testimony, and, and we're going to find out a lot of things, you know, where she, how she grew up, how she was involved. And let me tell you, I mean, what are you, when you have a, 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 a marriage and, and faith, I mean, it can be, it can be hard, hard situation. So please pray for us and pray for her because uh, uh, she's going through a very hard time right now and, and, and pray that, that when she's sharing her testimony, her story, uh, I know the people that are going to be watching this, uh, her story, uh, they're going to be blessed. They're going to be blessed, seriously, because we're going to be uplifting in, uh, in God's name tonight. He and just be blessed. Share this link, please. And let's welcome Brother Bree, uh, sorry, Sister Bree here and just be blessed. This is live. This is a live show. Sorry. How are you doing, sister? Thank you so much for being here and just be blessed. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, thank you so much for, for accepting the invitation. And, and let me tell you, I saw you post in Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. Some sister, you know, when you follow and they just share the post and about, you know, your testimony. And I read the whole thing and I was like, wow, how powerful. I mean, you send that for, for truth, you know, what do you believe, you know, what your conviction. And, and to get to that point, I, I, I just want to find out your story, how you grew up and, and, and how you get to that point that, you know what, I mean, I, I served christ you know my faith in christ and and we're gonna be talking about this topic about uh, can, uh what's it called a uh, black jewish israelites yep. mm -hmm. did i say it right <laughs> okay so we're gonna be talking about this topic uh but before that i want to ask you how was growing up do you grow up in the christian home how was parents how was your family please share with us I did. I come uh, from a Christian background. I have a very large uh, family who are predominantly seven day Adventists. Uh, yeah. So I, I did. I grew up in the church. Hmm. Wow. That's pretty good. Nice Christian home. Praise the Lord. Um, how was those teenage years? Which years? I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. Oh, uh, how was those teenage <laughs> years? You know, sometimes those teens years, it can be a little tough. A, a pretty normal upbringing. Uh, mm. I, well, I was raised in a single parent home. Mm. My dad lived in Texas, um, but I still had a lot of very positive influences in my life. Yeah. Uh, uncles, older brothers, uh, mm. mentors, things like that. Mm. Well, that's great. That's great. Uh, so do you want to uh, talk about, first of all, uh, and you married you. I mean, you were shared the uh, your husband uh, yeah. accept this faith, or it was before, or both of them they were Christian. Uh, please share with us. Um, well, we met in 2017. We dated for about a year, uh, and then uh, we've been married ever since. We've been married for four years, together for five. Okay. And when we first met, I was still a Christian, and he was just uh, what I, I guess would consider a professed believer. Mm -hmm. Like he'd say he didn't believe in a religion, but he believed in the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had keeping the seventh day Sabbath in common along with the other uh, 10 commandments. So we both kept um, all 10 commandments. We believed that those were binding and we mm -hmm. agreed yeah. on um, like clean eating and uh, marriage and family and things like that, but okay. he wasn't per se a Christian. Mm. And then uh, two years after we were married uh, is at the start of COVID. And then we uh, had 
uh, two children already. And uh, with COVID going on and not having much family or friends where we were living, um, we just really wanted to be closer to family. We didn't know how COVID was going to pan out. Mm. And we wanted our kids to be closer to people who, you know, they could know and love. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so we moved over to his hometown halfway across the country. And he has several relatives and friends who are actually in Hebrewism and presented this religion to him. And you were saying, well, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, the Jewish, uh, they keep the Sabbath and they don't eat this kind of like the same uh, things that you were kind of like doing together, right? Right. Kind of on the surface, it kind of seems like a mm. Judaism type of thing, but the okay. deeper you go into it, the more it is not. <laughs> it's like the total mm. opposite of Christianity. Um, I can just name like uh, a handful of their beliefs for you. They... Sure. They don't believe that Jesus uh, is the son of God. They believe that he is the biological son of Joseph. Uh, they don't believe in the Holy Trinity. So they think that God is above Jesus instead of uh, them being on equal footing along with the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Um, they don't believe that the Holy Spirit is a spirit. <laughs> they think the Holy Spirit is keeping uh, the Moses laws. Um, they have a very interesting take on love. They think love is just keeping the laws. Um, they believe that um, like you can buy your salvation from paying alms or from doing work. So they don't really believe in grace. So on the surface, it, it seems like, again, like Judaism or Christianity, but it's very, very different. Wow. Wow. Um, just... I mean, just to be honest to you, I mean, I'm not familiar that much about that movement, you know, and I see some clips and and read a little bit about here or there, but I don't know that much in details. But every time I I see a, a, a video about this movement and it's very um uh, 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 like, like a very strong, you know, like, oh, there's yeah. no right, you, oh, you know, I don't they're, know. I mean, I, I mean, I don't aggressive. want to offend anybody, but it's just whatever I see, you know, whatever the videos, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, <laughs> I agree. They're, they're very aggressive. Uh, from my experience, they can be, uh, very militant, very hateful, mm. uh, very racist, um, sexist, and in many cases, abusive. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, because uh, I mean, you has been uh, practicing for for over a year, right? Something like that. Yep. And you were involved too. I mean, you're thinking about well, it seems pretty good. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not that bad, you know. I, I mean, I prefer my husband to be part of <laughs> brotherhood, or I mean, I don't know what kind, of, you know, and then doing something in the bars or something like that, right? I was never really attracted to this religion, but because my husband was so heavily involved in it and I wasn't, it started to kind of draw a wedge between us. Mm -hmm. And so because there's this huge wedge between us and I kind of feel like I'm losing my husband, I said, you know, maybe there are certain parts of it that I can give a chance, even though there were, you know, uh, many, many doctrines that I didn't agree with. Mm -hmm. I felt like maybe it would be okay to keep the feast days or the new moon or, um, or things like that, things that I, I didn't really know where I stood yet, um, mm -hmm. things that I hadn't really had a chance to look at on my own in scripture. So I was like, okay, that part can't be so bad. You know, it's coming from mm -hmm. the Bible. Mm -hmm. um, but after doing, you know, several Bible studies on my own and things like that, I came to the realization that I didn't want any parts of it. Wow. <laughs> and uh, I mean, somebody over here shared is that some of them take it way too far yeah mm. uh because I, I mean i don't there's many different sex and uh things like that so i i wouldn't clump them all together so i'm speaking mm. very specifically about um the group that my husband is in you know i wouldn't i would never say like oh this is about all of hebrew israelism this is mm. uh about a very specific group yeah yeah um question um because I don't see, I mean, 
I don't see any, I mean, like I said, I haven't dig more and study. So that's why I'm asking you all these questions, you know, kind of like a, a newbie, you know, I, I don't know anything. So a question for you is like the, and do you feel you, you, uh, you feel like a, it was a loving movement that you get, I mean, I feel peace. My husband is so loving my, you know, or, or like when you go, uh, do you went to the meetings? I did a handful. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did it. I think when we first met and we were first married, he was very loving, very silly and funny, uh, very family oriented. And when he got into this religion, he became a completely different person. Again, the, the religion um, is very racist, but he became a very hateful person, uh, very vulgar, um, mm. and in, in a lot of ways, very cruel. And when I would go down to the meetings, I a lot of times felt very uncomfortable I felt out of place because of the way they shame people. And if you don't agree with them, um, yeah, they'll insult you and belittle you. And so I was afraid for them to even know that I was a Christian, uh, especially because I think it was something that my husband was keeping kind of in the dark. He didn't really want them to know I was a Christian either. Mm -hmm. So uh, on one hand, I was afraid for myself. And then two, I didn't want to humiliate him. And then things get even worse at home. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I can just imagine, um, uh, what was the point? Uh, because like, I mean, you told me you went a few times and, mm -hmm. and you kind of like, okay, I mean, this is, this is not right. Uh, mm -hmm. what was the point that you, when you saw this is too far, maybe, uh, yeah. Because just to talk about racism, I mean, that that's a heavy topic, you know what I'm saying? Like, Definitely. I mean, just to tell people you're, you're this or you're that, I don't care about you or something like that. I mean, that's, that's heavy. Yeah. And it's a movement. It's kind of like, uh, your faith. I mean, that's, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's not like a, your background or, or maybe your little, your neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Like you over, it's right. now it's your it's like faith. It's your entire I mean. lifestyle, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's. And so that's when it, it especially started to feel heavy when it started to affect other parts of our life. Mm. Uh, like I said, we have three small children. Um, and so they would go outside and play with the neighborhood kids who are not African-American. They're Caucasian. And obviously I saw nothing wrong with it. But mm. The kids are just outside playing, having a good time. Yeah. And he was really upset about it and even asked me to stop letting them play with the kids because they're Caucasian. Because in uh, their religion, they believe that um, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel and are the only people who will inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And they believe that all Caucasian people are descendants of Esau and are all doomed to hell and are the devil. So mm -hmm. he didn't even want our kids playing with them. I, at one point in time, he even uh, pulled our daughter out of camp because the school was majority white. He felt like there weren't enough um, black and Hispanic children, so he pulled her out of the camp. And that, that was really rough for me. And then on another hand, um, when we got to talking about doctrine like uh, the virgin birth of Mary, like I said in the beginning, they don't believe that um, Jesus is the true son of God. So that was rough for me too, because now I feel like you don't even believe in Jesus, <laughs> you know? So that was, that was pretty heavy for me too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, th I think that's the problem about other religions, you know, they don't want to accept who is the son of God. You know, Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. And, exactly. and when you remove that, the way to the father, the way to the, you know, God or creator God, you know, and stuff like that. So if he's not the way, so who is it, you know, who, who, yeah, who who's... It's like, what's even the point, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who, who, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, uh, I mean, I don't know. To me, it's so foreign, you know, that, that you go to a movement or a church or, or a place of your faith. And then what, well, guess what? I mean, it just, uh, go back home and you tell your kids like, or, you know, I don't want to you familiar with this kind of race, you know, I mean, right. and even in there, they call it a school, uh, which is mm. pretty much the church. Uh, even at the church, they were 
racist like that and the even the kids like you could tell that they were pushing this doctrine on their on their own kids mm -hmm. uh because of some of the things that i would hear the children say and it's mm. it was terrifying and really saddening yeah yeah wow wow interesting uh there's some people here making comments and uh, I just want to share here that Donna Gonzalez is a BHI said to me is I don't believe love the way they should like like Christ wants us to be I agree and and yeah I mean uh, another sister here says uh, knowing your uh, lineage uh, shouldn't destroy the true doctrine of Christ happy happy you got out of that group sis thank you <laughs> yeah yeah amen uh, okay. Oh, school Prof prophets is here, brother. Tila is here. He's hey, Bree. Sorry, I haven't got back oh, to no. you. <laughs> Let's plan to make a doc. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be doing a documentary. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a bro uh, sister Bree is gonna be in uh, some documentary about sharing the f wow. <laughs> Thanks that is you. good. Open doors, right. <laughs> Open doors, how to share your testimony. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. So tell us, please, uh, when it was the moment, or maybe you want to share something else uh, before when it was the moment to say, you know what, this is enough. Actually, it, it, it really wasn't up to me much. Um, hmm. It had gotten to a point where... Um, He'd see me, uh, you know, practicing my faith and he didn't agree with it. And so much time had gone on. Their group has this uh, rule that if your spouse doesn't join this group with you after a year, you're supposed to divorce them. Um, oh, wow. And I had not yet joined this group and I had no intentions of joining this group. So he uh, presented me with the ultimatum that uh, I could either renounce Christianity or he wanted a divorce. Mm. And obviously, I did not want a divorce, but I told him, I think uh, that it would be a good idea for us to separate. And he agreed to that. Uh, so we are currently separated. Wow. I mean, I feel I mean, I feel sorry, you know, I mean, the whole situation, but but I don't uh, at the same time, it's not it's not healthy. I mean, yeah, uh, not just, you know, for you guys relationship, you know, but the children. I mean, yeah, I agree. Hmm. I mean, uh, I still, you know, pray for his deliverance every day, and I pray that Amen. eventually we will be able to reconcile. Yeah. Right now, all I can—that's all I can do, you know, just hmm. wait for God to do His thing. <laughs> Amen. That's true. That's true. Uh, somebody say over here, they're they're uh, believing just like the Jewish in Jesus' time. Yeah. Like with that pride, you know, like, hey, I'm the perfect uh people we keep the law and all the stuff uh, and is there anything wrong with keeping the the ten commandments you know i mean there were different laws back then you know including the ten commandments but the thing is that when you want to be above something and i mean that's the problem and, and yeah and I, I mean you can go all the way to genesis all the way to revelation i mean that's the beautiful letter from god they got his love, you know. <laughs> exactly. So if you love yeah, I me, I feel like their religion is more about self than Christ. Like you very, you very rarely hear them mm. mention uh, like love or Christ. It's always mm. about what they can do to achieve salvation, or about mm. um, you know about who is going to inherit the kingdom and who's not. It's, it's not really mm -hmm. about you know about God. Mm -hmm. And so they are. They're very prideful, very arrogant, um, and mm. very corrupt. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, well, I have a, a lot of comments here. Uh, uh, one thing I, I, I don't know, is to me is that I cannot believe going to like a, a place of prayer and think about God or, or yeah. you know, anything is spiritual stuff. And then somebody told me, say, you know what? Don't hang out with those people because different color skin. Yeah, it's or, or whatever, you know. I mean, that's that's to me. I'm from, I'm from South Mexico, okay? Mm -hmm. So I came to the United States to learn English when I was in college. Gotcha. I want to, because I, I want to go to school and I want to be 
I was watching the uh, the movies, right? And you know, when I was growing up, eighties, nineties, or something, when the people are different race and uh, they go to school in the yellow bus, you know, to me it was like yeah. amazing. We don't <laughs> have that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, like how diverse it was. Yeah, so to me it was like. <laughs> Man, can, can you imagine to have a friends like this, like that, you know, like different yeah. race? To me, it's like, man, this is heaven. That's great. <laughs> but it's a different situation here, you know? And, yeah. and it's, it is very sad to go to a, a house of prayer, let's pray that way. And mm -hmm. they, they teaching you that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, how can you think that you're representing God when everything that you're teaching or believe is the total opposite of the character of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I and listen to very, very interesting myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Antonio says, even if we, if we are Jewish Israelites, there is no way I can agree with talking to people and treating people like that. That is yeah. no, not love that Jesus teaches. Yeah, I agree a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Um, once again, uh, so the decision was kind of, it was not angry. Like, Hey, you need to deny. I mean, it was the point that maybe he was saying like, you know what, you need to deny your faith to keep our marriage working together. It was, uh, he, there was a lot of times he was very angry and very cruel to me. Um, mm. I won't go into specifics. I don't want sure. to embarrass him. Uh, but yeah. yeah, it had gotten it had gotten really heavy and really ugly. Mm. Um, I saw a side of him that I never thought that I would see. Mm. Uh, like I said before, he became this completely different person. It was it was mind blowing. It was a, a nightmare. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's that's that's. I'm sorry, you know, what you went through because, you know, sometimes we got married, you know, with a perfect guy, a perfect girl, you know, whatever. And and then later on, I mean, they're involved with something, you know, or they hang out with the wrong people or something like that. And they just switch. And, and let me tell you, I mean, that's the spirit of deception, the spirit of the enemy <laughs> to yeah. to bring you know because let me tell you i mean and john 10 10 it says you know the the evil guy comes to the come to destroy and to kill right mm -hmm. and and if he was part of god i mean you need to come with love love your wife your children yeah. and love everybody right <laughs> mm -hmm. wow no, and it, it was pretty isolating too i, I think he even isolates himself uh, anybody who isn't a part of this group he doesn't really want anything to do with even mm. his own relatives and former mm. friends. Uh, he considers them to be out in the world um, mm -hmm. <laughs> because they aren't a part of this group. So it, it was very isolating. Yes. Yes. And let me tell you, uh, uh, Danny, uh, sister da uh, Daniela said, I'm so sorry, praying that God changed his heart. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We need all the prayer we can get. <laughs> yeah. 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 Of course. Uh, uh so when you guys decided like you know I, i'm i'm, I'm out of here this relationship mm -hmm. uh what happened to the children i mean i'm i'm sure they're devastated absolutely uh when we first left and we had agreed to the separation he seemed completely fine uh at that point mm -hmm. uh he hugged me and hugged the kids and we had decided you know we're going to work through you know during this time, we're going to take this time to work on ourselves individually and to work out our differences. And then once I got here, that kind of changed. He saw me taking the kids to a Christian church and it went back to, well, I want a divorce. And after that, we didn't hear from him for like a month. The kids missed him tremendously. Um, but the past week or so, he has been calling and speaking to the kids. So I am praising God for that. And uh, I think it has made a, a major difference in my kids, uh, their behavior and their attitudes as a whole. They they definitely miss us being together as a family. <laughs> mm, yes, yes. Wow. Uh, some people asking me here if this is a perfect way to ask questions. Are you able? Be, I mean, do you want to ask some questions? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, well, okay, you're here, you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, if you have any questions or something, please 
uh, just type and I'll be happy to bring it over here and ask some questions, Sister Bree. And, and let me tell you, um, uh, wow, Jesus delivered us from the course of the law. We are under his grace and walking his truth. Yes. And, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is that, uh, don't, I mean, yeah, the law of the old Testament and all the stuff, but when we talk about the law, that God's law is the 10 commandments and that's a different stuff. So I just yeah. want to make that thing clear. Yeah, Definitely. it's we we're by grace. Yeah, grace alone, and, and the and Ten we Commandments. Keep the Ten Commandments because we love Him, not because it can save us. Yeah, good. that's right. That's right. <laughs> I just want to make that thing clear. <laughs> um, uh, that group, just like brothers, the brother Jacob said that that is, I mean, it's just totally misrepresent Jesus Christ, the Son yeah. of God, the Messiah. They He wants to. He, I mean, he came from the from heaven to here to die for us, you know, and yeah. and and I'm sure it's, just, it's more different groups, you know, up there. But that's specific today. You know, we're talking about this and and, and I can just imagine what you went through and you like, I mean, I didn't I didn't sign in for this thing, you know, and and, and every time to this kind of angry issue and stuff like that, it's like, wow, I don't want my children to. To go through this you know and exactly. and sometimes we think you know it's just the adult no but the children is the the worst part you yeah know? and and so and how is for, like the other people who they are ministering to i feel sad for because um like the comment said they're totally misrepresenting you know mm -hmm. jesus so you're teaching all of these people deception mm. yes yes uh Question for you: How was your faith? I mean, what was what was when when you saw these these situations? You know, I mean, heavy problems in your marriage, you know, in your life, and I mean, the uh, did you faith? I mean, you went to the Bible and said, "Wow, I, I need I need truth." I mean, how was your relationship with, yeah. uh, with you and God before, during, and right now? Can you share that with us? I think it, it definitely strengthened my faith. I mm -hmm. think uh, in the beginning, I think I was a little lukewarm. And then going through it, I definitely had to, you know, see God. I do believe in spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. I believe that this was a spiritual battle and that I needed to seek God for help. Uh, yeah. So it really encouraged me to dive deeper into the Bible uh, and to, you know, walk through scripture and those uh, those gray areas that I didn't know about before. Um, I've done fasting with friends and even now, like <laughs> that's that's pretty much my life now. Homeschooling my kids and ministry. <laughs> so I, I think it has definitely brought me closer to God. So I don't, although I think it was a very unfortunate situation, I am grateful to God for the experience and how much closer it has brought me to him. And like I said, I, I still believe that he is in control and that eventually our family will be reunited. I, I, I don't think that God wants us to divorce. I, I don't think we have an actual, <laughs> you know, based on scripture, a real reason to divorce. So. Amen. Amen. And and just like sister here over here uh, says uh, reconciliation and restoration is still available. Right. Yeah. Um, I have a, um, I will share with you later on, uh, a link of, uh, brother Eric will, uh, Eric Wilson, okay. uh, a testimony. Uh, he was very involved. I mean, he was not involved in this, this movement, but he was very involved with, uh, martial arts. Gotcha. And oh, he was, cool yeah, he was very involved 25 years and, you know, and he was more not just like protecting everything, not like more deeply in the spiritual stuff. Very and, spiritual. Yeah, very spiritual. And he decided like, OK, can I separate this? And I mean, I don't want to tell you the whole the whole testimony, yeah. but something happened with his wife that was separated for five years. And the wife, he was praying for him and stuff like that. And later on, I mean, God made an amazing, I mean, bless their marriage and, and they're together That's now. Good. And they have a testimony together. I mean, I yeah. mean, all this stuff. That's what that... I'm looking forward to, to us one day having a testimony together. Amen. At the end of this. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Uh, Penny uh, says, God bless you. Uh, bless you all, my sisters and brothers. Amen. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. To see you too, Penny. Yeah, thank you for being here. Um, so you were saying that your faith it was it was is growing right now. I mean, than before yeah. that we were a little warm and stuff like that. How mm -hmm. do you feel right now, and you and your relationship with God? Um, uh, I I I think we've grown pretty close. Uh, he's my best friend. <laughs> I think he's very faithful. I've um, I've experienced a lot of answered prayers lately, and I'm mm -hmm. I'm sure I did before too. But now that I feel a little more connected to God, I'm paying mm -hmm. a little more attention <laughs> to yeah. those things that I pray for uh, and that other people are praying for. Uh, so it's in in this season. I'm not mm -hmm. sad at all. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I feel pretty good where I am with God right now. Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, can you share with us? Uh, maybe uh, uh, your, your favorite Bible verse during the, that situation. Uh, okay, maybe several. <laughs> please share with us. Please share with us. And why? <laughs> why? In the moment. Uh, okay, well, the first one is Psalms 27. Actually, the entire thing, but I put specifically just the first four. Mm -hmm. uh, I absolutely love David uh, and all of Psalms. I think he was... Uh, a wonderful worshiper. I think he was very faithful to God, no matter what he was going through. He always came back to the Lord. He was always repentant and yeah. so serious about God. Like you could mm -hmm. in Psalms, you can, you know, you know, you can feel his love for God. Mm -hmm. um, and so Psalms 27, uh, the first four verses is, is pretty much saying like, I have the Lord on my side. Like, why should I be afraid of anybody or anything when I serve such a mighty God? So that one always stuck out to me. Um, so anytime I'm going through a serious struggle, like the one that I was facing or any type of spiritual warfare, I always think back to that. Mm. Amen. So chapter 27. Yes. Yeah, the whole chapter. <laughs> the whole chapter. Yeah. We're not gonna read the whole chapter. I don't know. Maybe it's like <laughs> two hundred verses. We're gonna be right? here all That's night. Why I, I selected just the first four, and I probably I tried to summarize it as best as I could. Yeah, no, no, that, that's that's great. Uh, a question. Uh, well, somebody share over here it says that smile is proof of the joy <laughs> of the Lord. Thank that's you. Right. Yeah, that's very neat. Thank you. Yeah, Donna uh, Gonzalez says Psalms is my favorite book of the Bible. Yeah. Yes, mine too. <laughs> yeah, amen, amen. Well, let me tell you, um, uh, I'm sure uh, after you share your testimony and Facebook, because let me tell you, I mean, that post, I mean, it seems like it went viral because, uh, I mean, Very you tag somebody and something <laughs> like that, and you're like, wow, you know, stuff. But I remember, uh, I remember, uh, I think you you shared with me when we were talking before this interview. We were talking on the phone um, mm -hmm. that you were watching a, a, a YouTube video. Yes. And this lady and and the two pastors, uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, that answered you many questions. Can you please share with us your experience when you mm -hmm. were watching the first time, uh, or somebody told you about, or oh, how was it? How you found that video in YouTube? Okay. Um, again, I have a very big family uh, who are all Seventh-day Adventist. And so my aunt was telling me about a, um, a Bible study group that was via Zoom because we we're still during the pandemic. Um, and I was not able to get into the Bible study because there were so many people already involved that they never accepted my, um, my request to join the group. Okay. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I can find it on YouTube. So I went on YouTube, uh, I typed in uh, their names, and I found something totally different. It was a different Bible study that they were doing. Mm -hmm. And these Bible studies were about many different things. But the ones that really caught my attention initially were the, uh, the studies about the feast and the, uh, the ceremonial feast and the tabernacle and the sanctuary uh and the different shadows and types um mm. you know of these things and how mm -hmm. they uh are just types and symbols of i'm sorry 
uh, types and symbols of uh, what God did for us on the cross. And it's a, it's a very long <laughs> study. It's a, um, a playlist of 29 videos. Each study is like two hours long. So it, it took me quite some time to get through this. Um, yeah. Stopping uh, to pause it, to mm. take notes where I need to, and to follow along in scripture. So it was it was a pretty deep study, but uh, it definitely answered a lot of the questions that I had mm. um, concerning Hebrew Israelism, and you know keeping those high holy days and things like that. Yeah, can you can you share with us uh, the names? Maybe yes. the people were kind of uh, interested in and they want to search. Okay, you can find these playlists uh, on Nefertiti's page, N E F E R N I T T Y, and the uh, the series is called "Make It Plain." Okay, and the pastor's name? Yes, and then the pastors are Ivor Myers and Dwayne Lemon. Okay, yeah, powerful speakers. I heard that before, and, and they're really good guys. Um, I'm sure that, uh, uh, can you imagine, I mean, the Holy Spirit got in you, people, your family, that's like, hey, it's going to be a Bible study and all stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure they were, you were l watching this during the, you, you guys together, right? This situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was like, when I was watching the videos, it was, <laughs> it was mind blowing to me because mm -hmm. the questions that I had, it's like they were speaking directly to me, like answering my questions. Mm. And I was like, how do you even know that I was thinking that? <laughs> mm. Yeah. So yeah. I, I really believe that the Holy Spirit um, mm. is moving through these studies. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, did, uh, this lady make a comment uh, that says, I bet you you came out of that camp with tons of knowledge most have so much true biblical knowledge but lack of the holy spirit mm. I, I i don't agree i think this group i think um they are able to quote scripture but i think a lot of times this particular group they like to twist scripture to fit their doctrine mm. if that makes sense yeah Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Sister Dan Daniela said, yes, thank you for sharing. We have a study with wonderful women whose only hang up, hang up about attending our church was that she feels we need to keep the feast days. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just just keep praying for her. Prayer yeah. changes. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Yes, yes. Uh, I do have friends. I do have friends that, you know, they keep feasts and stuff like that. And... Uh, I believe, um, and I don't want to, you know, make a, a, a video about this topic and stuff like that. And uh, I have a good relationship with them. Mm. And, and we just, you know, respect each other. And they, yeah. they believe a lot of things that I do believe. And uh, so, you know, sometimes, I mean, when I have the opportunity to share, you know, a scripture and stuff like that, I mean, right on. But I think I believe that, uh, you know, keeping our, our, our friendship you know, it's way better just to be like, hey, no, you're right, you're wrong, and, you know, all this mm -hmm. stuff, you know. So we need to be, you know, asking yeah. the Holy Spirit when is the right time if maybe they're asking questions because yeah. let me tell you, I mean, we are living testimonies, right? I mean, I mean, yeah. people watching us, right? I mean, like, oh, Sister Bree, you know, she did this. Wow. I mean, sometimes we don't have to preach, right? Be in the front of the <laughs> church. Uh, just how we, you know, we do things, you know. Yeah, how we interact with each other, how we treat our neighbors. Mm -hmm. And in no way whatsoever do I think people who do keep um, the Moses laws are condemned to hell or anything like mm. that. <laughs> you know, I think God judges us all based on conviction um, and, you know, what information we have. So if I, you know, had accepted in my heart that I should not keep these feasts and then I continue to, I think the Lord would judge me based on that. Mm -hmm. But for people who, you know, who keep these feasts um, and believe that they're serving God to the best of their ability, I think that God will judge them based on that as well. Mm. Yeah. 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 Totally. Totally. Uh, it's a coming here. It's, it's very interesting. Yes. But regardless, the Hebrews 
are of African descendants, and the first Christians were Hebrews who follow Christ. I mean, I don't really understand, I guess, what that would have to do with, uh, I guess, with salvation. Mm. You know, I don't think whether we are or are not <laughs> yeah. Hebrews, I don't think that's really going to matter in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, salvation is for everybody, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think that's the problem because the Israelites, they were the, supposed to be the group to share with the all nations what character yeah. God's like, you know, it was love and mm -hmm. and, and God want to use this a small little group that were the I mean people want to destroy them and Egypt want to be like you, you're gonna be my slave and you know all the stuff and Jehovah yeah. God is like no I want to make this a little group that my 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 precious group and you know but later on in life I mean they were like you know, hey, I'm, I'm the I'm the chosen one. You're mm -hmm. not. So that's yeah. the problem. And then Jesus, you know, he cut off the, the 12 tribes and scattered them. I think if he wanted us to know, <laughs> you know, who the 12 tribes were, I don't think mm -hmm. he would have scattered us, you know, scattered them the way that he did. So it, that just brings me back to my point. I don't think that it, it's relevant at this point. I don't think there's any sound evidence that can prove that Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe that was answer that question to this person. Uh, I said, do you believe you are the Hebrew Israelite? Not speaking of the cult you left, but the true history. No. Again, I, I have not read any sound evidence that proves that I am Hebrew, or <laughs> that Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are Hebrew. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you, bro, Jacob says, so here's a praise the Lord for bringing you to Christianity, Sister Bree. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you were Christian, that. you know, you, I mean, you're a Christian. I mean, you were, you know, kind of learning or being involved in that kind of situation. But praise the Lord. Yeah. You say, hey, you know what? I, I, I want but my I Jesus. I was compromising. I was still Christian, but I was certainly compromising and yeah. uh, when I think about it I wasn't you know in the flesh I'm, I'm compromising uh, there's a bug I'm outside <laughs> I'm compromising uh, before my husband but in spirit mm. I'm compromising before the enemy you know mm. yeah you're right you're right uh, Jay says over here the devil is the best theologian yet he sealed the devil <laughs> and let, I mean yeah. I heard this I heard this comment and it's, it's very true. Seriously, this pastor was saying that, you know, the devil knows the Bible since the beginning yeah. to the to the end. Right. I mean, he knows by memory. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, the problem that uh, um, well, it's not a problem, but the thing is that the the most important thing that what we have, we can read the whole Bible, but we can mm -hmm. ask for the Holy Spirit to. Yeah open our eyes to help us to understand a scripture but the thing is that he doesn't have the holy spirit to inspire to 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 guide him you know what i'm saying like yeah he, he knows all the stuff he knows what's gonna be in the end and how it's gonna end this thing but we had the holy spirit praise the lord so that's why it's so important yeah. that we need to pray every morning because that's what jesus was right and every yeah, morning he absolutely. was talking to his father because and filled with the Holy Spirit, so he has a huge day to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I now I know. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I don't want to talk. I don't want to open another box of worms. But I mean, that's <laughs> why you see a lot of attack to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, it's three. No, it's only one. Or maybe it's only two. And the, right. you know all exactly. these stuff you hear. So. But, uh, I was listening to a prayer um, right before we went live, and it was talking about um, very much the same thing that you're talking about now and how it's in, important to have the Holy Spirit with us and how it's important to um, to know the Word. But in a sense, uh, spiritually, the Word comes to life. Uh, I mean, or it's living. So when we have the Holy Spirit and we're going through 
you know, the word or speaking the word is very different from when we're trying to go through it on our own, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, And I thought that was pretty deep. (laughs) Yeah, 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 it's it's very neat. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Sister Daniela, and maybe it's going to be the last one I have here. It says, uh, it is difficult. It is difficult when you are trying to keep a good relationship with your husband as he is changing and asking you to change with him. But you made the right decision and God will lead. Amen. Thank you. I agree because I I do believe that the husband is the head of the family and, Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's supposed to lead us. And so it was very difficult. Uh, On one hand, I want to be a faithful wife to my husband. Mm -hmm. uh, And I know that the Lord doesn't want us to divorce. But then on the other hand, I'm like, God, I know you don't want me to be compromising and afraid to have an open relationship with you in my own home mm-hmm. uh, and things like that too so it was it was a struggle <laughs> yeah I, I can just imagine seriously uh somebody asked this question i'm sure you answer already but if you don't mind if you can repeat it again uh i don't want to tell you know go watch the, the video in the beginning but uh <laughs> somebody asks uh who are the real israelites Again, I don't I don't think it matters. I think mm-hmm. the Lord scattered the 12 tribes for mm-hmm. uh, a reason. I think if he wanted us to know who the 12 tribes were, mm-hmm. uh, he would have put it in the word. I think every, everything that we need to know is right there in the word. Mm-hmm. And I, I haven't seen any sound evidence that, uh, again, that black, Hispanics and Native Americans are the true descendants of the 12 tribes of mm-hmm. Israel. I don't I don't think anybody can prove that. I've mm-hmm. seen this numerous charts from several uh mm-hmm. hebrew israelite groups and they all interpreted very differently mm-hmm. um yeah i, I think it, it really sows a lot of confusion and deception and takes people's minds off of god mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. yeah um people told me uh uh are you from mexico you know, yeah i'm from mexico but you don't look like it you got light skin. What does that even mean? <laughs> and you got you got green light. I was like uh, green eyes, and I'm like, well, I mean, yeah, my dad is his family, you know, maybe from Spain, Morocco. I mean, you know, all this the, the area. My mom yeah. is kind of like half a days and all stuff, but I'm from Mexico. I was born there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Proud to be Mexican, you know. Maybe I don't look. Maybe I'm mixed or something. I mean, everybody's mixed right now, or exactly. I don't know. We can't even prove who we are. So how can we prove that we're <laughs> descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel? You know, no. the only thing we know that we're descendants from Adam and Eve. I mean, that's just, just right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Uh, yeah. Somebody say, yeah, man, they are cold. Yeah. I mean, we need to be, I mean, we need to be praying for Sister Bree's husband too, you know, and, and you. the children, please let's pray for, for Sister Bree. And because this is very new, you know, for her and, and what she's going through and uh, like i said i can imagine i really like you know family situation you know and, and everything is like mm-hmm. something about children and and you know um, i interview a lot of people here and just be blessed and they tell me yeah. all these stories and all the stuff and i've seen some great interviews <laughs> oh thank you well uh well you're now part of the just be blessed family so thank you for <laughs> accepting <the> invitation <laughs> This is a little off topic, but <laughs> before the day is over, I'm going to have to uh, figure out where you got that, where I can purchase your shirt from. Your Just Be Blessed shirt. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, uh, <laughs> uh, I need to, I need to work on my, uh, my website, you know, and all the stuff that, uh, but, uh, and Patreon, uh, you know, that's what I tell people, though, thank you so much for support. Uh, if you, <laughs> support for fifteen dollars i will send you a t-shirt for free you know you know things like that but this is live show guys she asked me a question (laughs) i need to answer okay (laughs) but yeah it's just be blessed you know i'm sure i'm not the only one who wanted to know (laughs) yeah right (laughs) yeah yeah totally totally uh okay before we're gonna be finished this interview i have a one more question to ask you but before Mm -hmm. that i just want to tell people right now uh please share this link i mean seriously 
There are 45 people watching it right now live. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, uh, please share this link with your friends. Like this video. You know how it is on YouTube. I mean, people like more videos. The, the specific video, I mean, YouTube's going to share it more. So please do my favor. Just share this link with your friends and like this video. If, he's, if you're not subscribed on YouTube, uh, here in Just Be Blessing on YouTube channel, uh, please do so. Because let me tell you, I mean, we share people's testimonies and I've left the messages and how God is good. And I have over a hundred videos, topics, people's testimony. I mean, seriously. And I just want to, uh, you enjoy, uh, subscribe and put the little, you know, uh, bell icon, so, you know, it's going to help you to, to notify guy you when you have a, when we have a new video and if you want to support our work here and just be blessed. I put a few things and behind the scenes and you want a t-shirt, help us out and you can be part of the family of just be blessed. All right. For this nice t-shirt, uh, I need to work with building my website. And if people want to support with buying a t-shirt that says just be blessed, uh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Seriously. So let's go back with sister Bree right now. Uh, that's right. So your final thoughts, I want to finish this interview, your, your story. Thanks so much for allowing me to share your story. Because like I said in the beginning, when I said, when I saw the post on Facebook and, and it, people were sharing, sharing likes and a lot of comments, you know, and thanks so much for taking the time seriously and share your testimony. And, Thank you for having me. Yeah, 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 totally. Uh, question for you. Can you please share your final thoughts uh, final thoughts of you know growing up as a christian home and then you know involved with this the, with this situation this relationship and, and this marriage i mean it's not just boyfriend girlfriend i mean there are children involved and, and this and this you know hard situation that you need to make a decision you know for your children and for your faith yeah and you stand up and say you know what i i follow jesus you know and uh, can you please share with us? Because somebody out there right now that watching you, your story, maybe it's a lady out there that they're going through the same thing and they want to hear it. Yeah. Can you please, you know, look at the camera <laughs> and just talk to it, take a few <laughs> minutes or something that you want to say, uh, share. And I appreciate um, it. I think my final thoughts would be um, to always choose God, uh, to keep God first um, and to trust the Holy Spirit. I don't think I could have made it through this uh, as graciously as I have if I didn't trust the Holy Spirit and keep him first. Uh, and for any women who might be going through uh, a situation like this or even worse, uh, you're not crazy. You're not alone. I've had many women message me since I made that post, um, you know, tell me that they're going through similar things and just really needed encouragement and prayer. Uh, and I think that's the best thing that any of us can do for for anybody or for each other is to to pray and to always keep God first. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Seriously, I appreciate it. And Cutting Edge TV says great interview. Blessing to both of you and <laughs> praying says just pray you. for your family. Yeah. Amen. He's a great pastor. He also does uh, you know, devotionals and uh, interviews, stuff like that. He's, uh, I share my testimony and he's oh, platform. Cool. So he's a very cool guy. Uh, Donna Gonzalez. Yes. Thank you for the message. Uh, Elizabeth said, we'll be praying for you and your family, sister Bree. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God is working mighty. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, anything else that you want to share before we finish? Th this is your story. Whatever you want to share, this is your story. Seriously. I don't know. I think we I think we pretty much covered it all, but um, I'm still open to questions. Even like after we're done going live, anyone for like put comments underneath yeah. the video. I'm always welcome to, you know, I'm always here to chat. <laughs> okay. Well, that's great. That's great. Uh, yes. You know, after later, you know, I mean, people make comments in the com I mean, you're so welcome, you know, go back and, and answer them, you know, <laughs> because yeah. I'm going to be later on. Can, hey, sister, can you please answer? Because <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Jeremy Light says, uh, I don't know. You said life is trying. 
life is trying trying but we will stand for it is the lord's will for us to come out like gold all right absolutely but, yeah <laughs> Amen. Uh, Dona Gonzalez, they said, we definitely need to read our Bibles. Amen. Ask yeah. God for wisdom and discernment. Wow. That's... Amen. And the time that we're living right now, seriously, not just topic about, about being a cult or these kind of movement or something like that. Just what's going yeah. on in TV and social media and, and entertainment. Yeah. And it is somebody, I, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to just share right now. Somebody at work uh, shared with me about um mcdonald's mm -hmm. have you heard about mcdonald's what happened they didn't no <laughs> uh it's they offering uh tarot cards so they can read it wow and i'm like what are you talking about mcdonald's so i don't know the whole situation but i was like hmm uh, i need to go through maybe i need to make a video about it but it's just what's what kind what kind of time we're living Right. This okay. This is a little off topic. Jared, <laughs> but I am pregnant. Uh, I'm I'm pregnant with baby number four, and mm. I was looking into a, a birthing center here. And my first visit, I was blown away. Like all over the walls, there's like um, like spiritual, like spiritualism art, and then they have like affirmation cards and tarot cards, and they sell all of these different things mm. in the gift shop. And I was blown away at how at this medical practice they're really pushing and practicing the spiritualism in the birthing center and mm -hmm. so um i did have to find a, a new place to have my baby after that but I, I thought that was very interesting yeah like new age or, or some yep. occult right i mean mm -hmm. but yeah i mean i mean you want somebody i mean some place that they're gonna be praying for you you know i mean that right to the god of <laughs> Not Heaven. inviting um, <laughs> evil spirits. Yeah, <laughs> delivering my baby into the world. <laughs> amen, amen. Yeah, we need to. I mean, seriously. Once again, I'm gonna I'm gonna share it because it was. We definitely need to read our Bibles and ask God for wisdom and discernment. Totally. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sister, yeah. Dana Gonzalez. Yeah, praise the Lord, Elizabeth. It says God is working mighty for for you behind the scenes. Amen. I receive it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Casey said, yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So thank you so much for hanging out here and just be blessed. This is a, 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 we went, we went live. I don't usually go in, in YouTube live. Only one is a, a very important topic. And let me tell you, I, I guess, you know, tonight it was an amazing topic to share and, and 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 thank you for for allowing me to share you your story thank you i had a great time <laughs> yeah please don't hang up i'm gonna finish this video okay okay <laughs> all right all right you guys i hope you were blessed let me tell you because i learned a lot you know from you guys for sister brie here um, what a story i mean what a story but thank you so much that that she answered that call god is first and i need to stand up for truth and let me tell you, please pray for her, for her relationship with her husband, the children. I mean, they're separated and, you know, uh, please be with her, you know, please pray for, for her. And, and thanks so much for hanging out here in Just Be Blessed. My name is Alex Castillejos. And don't forget to share this link with your friends and family and your social media. Thanks so much for your support. And we'll see you next week with another powerful testimony. Bye-bye.